Numele, dă-mi numele! Zine numele! E doar o chestiune de timp, tot ai să-mi spui. Urbrand, fii rezonat din viața ta, nu aia ta! Mi-aparține. Mi-aparține. Eu... aparțin... Hristos. Mie mi-aparține. Mie! 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 Arde! Richard Wundrand. I was brought up in a family with no religion. My childhood was bitter. When I was 14, I was as much an atheist as the communists are today. But I had the grace to be one of the chosen of God for reasons that I do not understand. These reasons have nothing to do with my character because my character was very bad. But I longed from the first day of my conversion to be able to witness to the Russians. The Russians are raised from childhood in atheism. I promised God that I would dedicate my life to these people, to give them back their personalities, and to give them faith in Christ. Beginning August 23, 1944, one million Russian troops entered my country. The communists took power, and then began a nightmare. Atheism became the official state religion. To proclaim Christ publicly became a reason enough for arrest and torture. Spies were everywhere. Church leaders had a choice either be enlisted in the service of the Soviets or go to jail. The communists skillfully seduced the church and the church leaders were easily deceived. They convened a congress of cults for all ministers, pastors and rabbis. Joseph Stalin was appointed as Honorary patron. În timp ce România se îndreaptă către un progres inevitabil, vom adăuga în acest panteon al personalităților istoriei pe Darwin, pe Nietzsche, pe Hegel și, desigur, pe Marx. The Congress was broadcast across the nation. The idea was to persuade the public of the communist intent to cooperate fully with the churches. My wife, Sabina, and I watched as religious leaders, one after another, took the podium and spoke words assuring the communists of the loyalty of the church. It is happening here just as it did in Russia. And our glorious new Romanian government is in favor of faith, any faith. They are even going to increase the pay of the clergy. Lenin defended the church until he came to power. And tens of thousands of Christians die in concentration camps. This is madness. They are spitting in the face of Christ. Will, will you not wash me this shit? You do know that if I speak now, 
you will have no husband. Calea pe care ne indică și pe care a mers mare de partid bolșevic al condus de mare de partid conducător Iosif Isarionovici Stalin este pe calea, este calea pe care și noi cu toții trebuie să o străbatem. Este calea colectivizării, calea electrificării, calea industrializării țării noastre. Scuzați-mă! Scuzați-mă, aș dori să iau cuvântul. Scrie un bilet ca toți ceilalți și așteaptă srândul. Da. Sau aș putea să cobor acum. Îl cunoști pe omul ăsta? Da, Richard Wurmbrand. Asta un tărare foarte respectat. Wurmbrand? Nu o să ne facă probleme, nu? Nu. Cred că susținerea unui reprezentant al Consiliului Mondial al Bisericilor ar ajuta. În continuare, îl vom asculta pe pastorul Richard Wurmbrand Luteran, reprezentând misiunea Bisericii Suedeze și Ordinul Mondial al Bisericilor. Dragi prieteni, ne-am adunat astăzi aici ca Sfânta Preoțimea Lui Dumnezeu să preaslăvim numele Lui Hristos, nu partidul. Comunismul i-a transformat pe frații noștri în martiri. Cum ar putea fi lăudat? Datoria noastră nu este să susținem puterile lume care din și pleacă. Datoria noastră este să preamărim numele Lui Dumnezeu a tot Creatorul și a Lui Hristos, Mântuitorul, care a murit pentru noi pe cruce. Iisus a fost retras. Iisus a fost bagiocurit de cei care sunt iau. Bun Brand, mai știu un mirac. Bun Brand, ajunge. I-ai salvat pe alții și nu te poți salva pe tine? Ajunge, ajunge. Miracolul a fost. Să iasi microfonul. Că deși l-au văzut, cine l-au tingit. Ajunge, Iisus e italat. Îmi fug dragă asta. Dragă de azi. Iisus e italat. Îmi fug dragă. Ajunge. Că iasi microfonul. Dragă. churches had to deal with a new reality. The Russians were here and they weren't going away. The registered churches were no longer safe. But we still wanted to share Christ's love with our fellow Romanians and to the occupying Russian soldiers. Even my son Mihai and his friends got involved. They managed to learn a small handful of Russian words. Давай, давай, пошли отсюда, попрощайки, цыгане. Пожалуйста, пожалуйста, пожалуйста. God bless you. You got gum from the officers again? Mm -hmm. Did you give them a blessing? And a flower. Tatăl nostru binecuvântează acești ofițeri prin cuvintele copiilor noștri. Amin.
As time went on, the communists tightened their grip even more. Bibles were banned. Churches were monitored. And everyone was watching. The communists knew that faith in God was the only effective resistance left. I spoke Russian fluently. And for me to preach to the Russian people was heaven on earth. The Russians were very fond of watches. They stole them from everyone. They never had them before and now they could not get enough of them. A Romanian who wished to have a watch had to go to the barracks of the Soviet army to buy them. They were often buying their own watches back, but we saw this as an opportunity to share the gospel. Nu puteți să luați ceasurile oamenilor și să cereți bani pe ele. Aici ce sunt, aici ce sunt, tot mult atat licit. Nu e ăsta ceasul meu, ăsta e ceasul meu. Что у вас сегодня? Они будут хорошие? Лучшая коллекция. Что ты думаешь? Это не годится. У вас есть что-нибудь другое? Я не обижу то, что я ищу. Там должны быть и другие. У меня есть вопрос. Кого-нибудь из вас зовут Петр или Павел? Да-да. Ты знаешь, что ваша православная церковь имеет специальный день, когда прославляют святого Петра и Павла? Ты знаешь, кем Петр и Павел были? Да? Ты не пришел сюда, чтобы купить час. Все нормально. Once the soldiers realized that we were there to speak about God and the Bible, they would close the doors and gather in close. It was extremely dangerous. No. But they were so eager to learn more. Петр он был рабочим человеком, рыбаком. Пока не встретим человека по имени Иисус. Хорошо. Я тебе дам 50 рублей. Sadly, a number of our brothers and sisters were caught and severely beaten. But they did not betray our work. We were meeting an entirely new type of Christian, the Christian of the underground church. Our ministry to the Russians was bearing fruit. There was one young soldier named Peter. He had come with the Russian army. It was not enough for Peter to accept Christ. He wanted to be baptized. Peter, 
Петр Радманович Ковалев, я крещу тебя во имя Отца и Сына и Святого Духа. Baptisms were very risky. There were so many informers among us, and only the most trusted could be invited. But Peter insisted and we had complied. Our underground church was modest in size, but it was growing in numbers and in courage. After being baptized, Peter risked his life smuggling Bibles to other Russians. He was an example to many of the new believers. Пожалуйста, будь осторожен. Ты знаешь, что произойдет, если бы тебя поймали. Те будут относиться худше, чем к румынским верующим, если это вообще возможно. Если бы моя жизнь не была моей, я ушел бы уже. Но все мы принадлежим к Христу, не так же? Ты сам установил пример. Last I heard of Peter, he had been arrested and sent to prison. Whether he is already in heaven or continuing the good fight on earth, I do not know. But Peter had courageously served, and we had learned a new lesson. Every soul won for Christ must also be made a soul winner, no matter the cost. should perform the wedding. And I'll just play on the streets all day, hmm? No. No? No? No. 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 Oh. Okay. See you at the church in one hour, okay? I just won. If I go now, I might be there before you. <laughs> Don't make us wait for you. Am I ever late, dear? No. The rest of us are just always early. True. <laughs> Sabina worried about me being late for the wedding. And not without some merit. I was easily distracted. 
especially by those most innocent among us. On that day, Sabina was right to worry. I would be late. I had discovered 366 versions in the Bible that instruct us not to fear. One for each day of the year. And even one for leap year. It was a leap year. February 29th, 1948. I remember the verse for this day. Psalm 56, verse 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Ai ținut un discurs foarte interesant la congres. Cred că ai o grămadă de prieteni. Prieteni care te ajută. Nu? Poate facem o înțelegere. Tu îmi dai niște nume, îmi spui cum îi cheamă și poate te ajut și eu. Nu-mi place să te torturez. Dar poți să te împușcă. Domnule coronel, spui că poți să mă împuști. Știu că poți. Pot. Dar dacă mă omor, eu mă duc la cel pe care îl iubesc. Există Dumnezeu. Și există viață veșnică. Dar noi nu suntem niște criminali, niște naziști. Noi vrem să trăiești. Și să suferi. Am să-ți fac cunoștință cu tovarășul Brânzaru. Tovarășul Brânzaru! Ai văzut vreodată o carceră? O să-ți placă. Mm. 
we were forced to stand in wooden boxes, only slightly larger than we were. Sharp nails were driven into every side of the box. We stood for endless hours, sometimes even days. I don't like to speak much about our horrific suffering. When I speak of it, I don't sleep at night. Zima un nume ceva. Da, ia mai gândește-te tu un pic. Hai. Până atunci îți arăt niște jucării. Asta e pentru măseluțe. I remember one pastor named Florescu. The communists wanted the names of his congregation. But he refused to betray his brothers and sisters. <laughs> The walls were covered with the boy's blood. But he died with the name of Jesus on his lips. Our dear brother Florescu was never the same after witnessing his son's death. 
คู่คุณดีThose engineers were shot. The day's quota was to move eight cubic yards of dirt per woman in any condition. Every day, Sabina would repeat a scripture, and often it would wind its way through the whole camp. Oh, 
Donul că cele bun și mâna să le veșnică. Laudați-l pe tine! Gata cu vorba! Să o vreau noastră la carceră! Trebuie să fie sâmbătă. Trebuie să fie sâmbătă. Îi pat pe atentiștii de sfârșit. Bună, Prayer was my only escape. The beatings would not prevent me from talking with God. My wife and my son were always in my prayers. It's how I held them close. Acum a trebuit să te speli. Arunc o dulere. Unde-i Dumnezeu tău acum, a? De ce nu te-a salvat? Dar m-a salvat! Cu mâinile tale m-a salvat! Sabina broke two ribs when she hit the rocks in the Danim River that day. The women suffered greatly, and many died in the labor camps. Whenever they moved me from cell to cell, I would always find other believers. Naturally, Preaching in prison was strictly forbidden. It was never an issue of if you would be caught. It was only a matter of how bad the beatings would be when you were. Open! Ia predici! Hai! I have witnessed many times where a brother was dragged from our cell to the beating room because he was preaching. He would be kicked, cut, beaten with sticks and all kinds of tortures. Oh. 
Unde am rămas? Fericiți cei prigoniți pentru dreptate. Aceea a celora este împărăția cerurilor. We didn't stop preaching. We'd made a deal with the guards. We would preach, they would beat. Everyone was happy. My feet were beaten so often and so brutally, I would never walk normally again. Să spargi eu, nu simt nimic. Sunt o ființă umană. Orice lovitură doare. Nu-mi pasă. Dumnezeu nu există. Așa că nu există pedeapsă pentru rău. Îi mulțumesc Dumnezeului în care nu cred că trăiesc astăzi să pot exprima tot răul din sufletul meu. I am sorry if a crocodile eats a man, but I cannot reproach the crocodile. I had learned the same can be said of my torturers. Communism had stripped them of any form of humanity, and they sank into unthinkable depths of cruelty. Darkness ruled their every action, and only God's love could restore them. Te rogi? Ești tâmpit! Băiatul tău nu mai are casă! Nevastă ta e arestată! Viața ta e distrusă, mă, băiatule, și tu te rogi în continuare la Dumnezeu al tău care nici măcar n-are chip! Pentru ce căca te mai rogi, mă? Pentru ce te mai rogi tu acum? Mă rugăm pentru tine. While in prison, I contracted a severe case of tuberculosis. In those days, TB was often a death sentence, and I was moved to a prison in the Carpathian Mountains. If a prisoner took a turn for the worse here, he was sent to room four. Nobody had ever returned from room four alive. Dumnezeu este pastorul meu? Atunci de ce mai am nevoie? Dacă el vrea să stau întins în patul ăsta, cine sunt eu să-l contrazic? Some who preached in the prisons had been pastors. But most were lay people who were simply inspired by the Holy Spirit. One such man was named Matt Cage. He was extremely sick. Somehow his family found out how sick he was and sent medicine that could save his life. Veste bună, Matkevich! 
A venit un pachet pentru tine. Cu medicamente. Haide! No, no! Doar el. Eu nu am voie să le dau medicamente de ținuților. Dar dacă mă ajuți, ți le dau și ai să trăiești. The officer wanted the same thing they always wanted. Names. Eu nu sunt trădător. Da? Bravo! Iubesc soldații curajoși. He told Malkevich others were talking, and their reports even led to his many beatings. Christos ne-a învățat să ne iubim dușmanii. Eu nu pot răspunde la rău cu rău. Matkevich died in my presence. I watched him enter eternity while praising God. I saw many men die in that room. And here is a remarkable fact. Not one died an atheist. None of them died without making his peace with God and man. Many entered room four as firmly convinced unbelievers. But I saw their unbelief collapse always in the face of death. Just as many men think themselves religious and are not, so some think they are atheist without being so. After her release, Sabina had no idea if I was alive or dead. Until one day, a friend found me in room four. Dr. Luigi was underground and undercover. He had become a Christian and wanted to renounce the Communist Party, but we begged him to stay in and find a way to serve Christ. His sacrifice was the greatest of all of us, for even his family and friends believed he had betrayed God and gone back to the party. Wunbram, <coughs> is that you? I heard you had died. Maybe tomorrow. Sabina will be relieved then, at least for another day. Can you? Get a message to her. I can. 
tell her I'm alive. Tell her I love her. <laughs> God is here. Ask her if she, she might deliver some pork ribs with polenta. <laughs> the kitchen here is dreadful. Don't look well, Richard. <clears throat> My soul sings. My body, not so much. TB is no joke. You need medicines. I'll try to get you some. Then try to get some for all of us. Without medicines, you will die. They told me I had two weeks many months ago. I have lost the count of the days. <coughs> Jest wreszcie problem, doktor? Jest. Jarde fronta, ale nie wyjdę nie kamę ten, dlaka no. Moare? A jest to zmor. A z tej kamera numeru pięć. The communist ideology is nothing other than the religion of Satan on earth, as one who passed through communist prisons called it. It claimed hundreds of thousands of victims among us. It did not succeed, however, in breaking those who, not wanting to lose their souls, held steadfast in all their being to Christ, enduring horrible suffering, and finally dying at the hands of the communists. They acquired the crown of glory. to be in the same cell with great saints. Heroes of faith who equal the Christians of the first century. They tithe their tiny rations, giving it to the weakest prisoner. They shared communion with the little they had. They faithfully witnessed to their tortures they would gladly die for Christ. Even our chains became musical instruments, and we worshipped the Lord together. Supernatural became the natural. I have seen such beautiful things. in prison, for many of which I could not see the stars, birds, or even a butterfly. 
And I still love the Russians, even the communists, with all my heart. They can kill Christians, but they cannot kill our love. I hate the communist system, but I love the men. We had experienced a new form of Christianity, the kind where Christ's love conquers all.